Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here once again in the start of a new episode in TNO The Last Days of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, but outside interference, high-ranking military officials were driving around in expensive new Mitsubishi Devil Nails. Legislative Council members were sporting new watches. As Matsushita Masaharu entered his office in the council chambers to start the day's work, he was greeted by a wide grin from one of the policemen guarding his door, revealing a golden tooth where last week there had been nothing. Money was in the air like ozone before a thunderstorm, unsurprisingly. The first report of the day came from his whip. Itachi was at it again, flushing money to a country at an alarming pace. Where it had been only a stepped-up instance of the usual horse trading that went on in Guangdong, by now it reached a proportion, suggesting something deeper was at play. The money was targeting Guangdong's top military men and influential legislative council members, yes, but also the colonels of the garrison regiments surrounding the capital, as well as senior bureaucrats in the government departments. Bribery on this sort of scale cannot be the work of Hitachi alone, the whip concluded. Most likely both Mangyo and Nisa were assisting as the whip left the room. Matsushita Masaharu puzzled over the possibilities. These were hard-nosed businessmen who spent every day wringing dimes and nickels out of destitute Chinese factory workers. But it wasn't their nature to be so prolific yet. But whatever their ultimate aim, Hitachi wasn't the only company that, with money to here in Guangdong. Time to bring out our own wallet. <clears throat> oh, crud. That sucks. So now we're out 13%. Also, we're still fighting Indonesia, but what else is new? We're only here too. Massive congestion at Koshu Airport. It's complete chaos, sir. 27 different aircraft requested emergency landings, all of them tagged from Manchuria. The first is supposed to arrive in 14 minutes, last in only 47. Head air traffic controller Yang uh, Chi Yem, or Yi Chen, stood up from his desk, his voice failing him as he split, spilled his cup of coffee. He sent for it. Crap, have all outgoing flights canceled now and get the police, we're going to need them all around. His deputy took in all the information and walked out on the uh, tower's control floor. The news did not go over well, judging by the panic sounds amongst the controllers who had to join them and help out with the workload. Less than five minutes later, a detachment of armored cars screeched to a stop outside the terminals even as Yang had barely gotten control of the air traffic control team. Uniformed men marched into the control room <clears throat> as they were across the rest of the airport, calming down everyone by the visible show of force. The captain introduced himself to Yang, revealing himself to be the head of the Camp Outside Regiment in Koshu. He was close enough to hear the call for police reinforcements. We'll be taking control here. Special orders from the government, all these flights will be taken in, have the runaways cleared off, and all other flights canceled. We're going to have to be here for a while. Yang blinked, we already canceled all flights, sir. The captain smiled, good man. Order restored? Well, that's all part of a ploy and plot, you know. But, like we read last time, I think I read this last time, sell, 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 so. <clears throat> if you want to read this again, please go right ahead. Uh, we'll sell what remains the Yasuda Empire, and hope that Matsushita comes out on top. Uh, but, we're going to enjoy ourselves as, well, well, maybe enjoy ourselves as we are attempting to try to get some more, uh, Mission tracker here, but we'll have to wait and see because it's not going so well. Honus Horribus. <clears throat> in the dim light of his office, uh, Chief Executive Matsushita Masaharu uh, leered at the documents let lie on his desk. The burden of proof was such a powerful thing, wasn't it? High definition scenes of Camp Atai squads intimidating airport staff and the Manchurian linked cargo planes playing across his mind. Why? Why would Itachi try to pull off a scheme this large? They seemed to operate just fine under his rule, just as they did Manchukuo. <clears throat> Was somehow Machuko making Hitachi do this for some reason? Were they on the brink? The worst and increasingly most likely reason for the camp by Tyre Hitachi's escalation crossed the chief executive's mind. And of course it did. Try as it might to dismiss it, the reason that everything was unfolding now it was all because of Hitachi's pieces were in place. All they needed was a coup de grace. <clears throat> Shaking away the thought, Matsushita Masaharu read on, meaningless jargon coalesced into dread instilling antidotes and reports. At the end, the police commissioner who had written the report recommended four courses of action to do the power of play. The first was to reckon with the garrison in the camp by Tyre directly and bring them into the cold daylight. Second was to send out a feeler for contact with the Manchurian government and see whether they understand what's going on in Guangdong. The third and fourth method was either go to Tokyo or Nanjing for help. While banking on their support was a risky move, both nations had the power to move things away and help fully understand what was going on in our noses. <clears throat> what's the fifth option? Not reported in the stated in the report. There's always another option if they get the right leads, twist the arms, or disappear the right people. Perhaps we can do it ourselves. After all, what is Guangdong but the shining monument to doing ending it, doing it yourself mentality? Trains are receptive. Tokyo's more enough influence. I'm also to worry about any 18 Brumaire. We're gonna get the Japanese to help us out. Um, cause hey, they have pretty high approval overall, 80%. So, over here, the challengers. Oh crap, if you remember this, please go ahead. God dang it. Is this not over straight? Naval penalty. Terrain. Yuki Aki. <clears throat> the prominent artist. Harata Shoro appeared outside the Hong Kong a building where the Japanese Consulate General was exhibiting his paintings for a glimpse of his son. 
And the place was far more bustling than I remembered seeing or being told in the past. It was harder for him to see anyone, let alone the man he was looking for. But as far as anyone but Ta Consul General Takashima, a good friend of his younger, less complicated days, knew, Harata had simply accompanied his paintings in support of a greater East Asian Ministry cultural exhibition. But in reality, though, showing people his works was always well and good. Harata was looking for a son who he had known as Harata Masaharu, but he didn't have much time left, and he hadn't seen his son in his years. He knew that ever since he had gotten married to that corporate heiress, Masaharu hadn't had any time to keep in touch. But Harata's view was only that he had at least tried and keep in contact with his son one way or another. Going back inside, Harata <clears throat> was distracted from his reverie by a man examining his paintings with a kind of gay Rato knew to be that of a painter appraising a colleague's work. Being somewhat naive, he assumed that the man was a Japanese and introduced himself in that language. <coughs> the man, speaking with a very slight accent, Rato had to strain, had to, strain to notice, introduced himself in fluent Japanese. Lin Feng Mayan, at your service, Mr. Rato. Lin Feng Mian. He knew that name. That was the name of a prominent Chinese artistic master, one whose work had been destroyed by the reckless soldiers during the war, only for him to remake it from scratch and exhibit it left, right, and center throughout post-war China. Confirmed with such a luminary of his art. What could he do but nod respectively as limit? Proceeded. The very same. <clears throat> and appeared in Tokyo. Most of Shida Masaharu to Consul Generals Takashima's hand, and they proceeded to sit across from each other inside Takashima's office. Takashima was the first to breach the reason behind the uh, reason after formalities were exchanged. What brings you to my office outside of the usual scheduled visits? The chief executive replied. <clears throat> It concerns me Guangdong security and the recent incidents that I'm sure you're aware of. Takashima like nodded, and Masashija Masaharu continued. The recent incidents are harming the investment climate in the region. However, our security services believe there may be a link we wish you, for you to examine into. It's uh, their opinion that the interference into the investigation may be originating from Manchukuo. Why should you look into the potential evidence that may arise from studying the recent activity of Hitachi in Manchukuo? <laughs> Takashima. I was silent for a moment as he mulled the appeal over in his head before eventually responding. It seems like it would be in Tokyo's best interest to look into the matter. I'll contact some individuals I know to see if I can be done discreetly. I'll notify you if anything turns up. Thank you, Consul General. I didn't help out to town, but hey, it's not bad. Uh, 8% and now they're at 27. They got one more seat? I don't want to do this one. Though. I hate Hitachi so much. We'll see if we can win. But then we gotta sell, 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 sell. Oh, we don't have enough seats for this one, so we're going to keep going on and ensuring Matsushita dominance. No matter how critical or important the rules of the other corporations and the Legislative Council may be, it's essential that it remain the undisputed central force. <clears throat> Therefore, it's crucial that we begin to expand our extensive influence even further. The acquisition of vacated properties, expansion of production into other markets, and a robust and vigorous show of force in the Council itself may be necessary steps towards the entrenchment of Matsushita's uh, dominance over the ever-competitive stage, <clears throat> uh, economic stage of Guangdong. While the other corporations are engaged in fiddling squabbles, we shall see his advantage. It is best for us not to delay and waste precious time, as it is likely key, the key to our success. The findings, previously, we could only make assumptions about the Camp Pai connections to the incidents of the warehouse. We knew that they were connected somehow, but we didn't know who and to what exactly they were doing. Yet, Chief Executive of the report underlies clearly what's happening. Police Commissioner Kuni, Kuni, Yasao, or Kuni Yasu, sitting opposite the Chief Executive, thumbed through the report. <clears throat> a detriment of management caught inside a warehouse tried to, to get an officer hostage in exchange for a clear passage. Deal? Dead? You couldn't get him alive? Well, he could have been great news to us. We believe, based on the information we had, that the employee was sent as a sort of observer from Hitachi to oversee the operation. He appeared to have executed a police officer, so our men opened fire to prevent more casualties. It turned out the officer was unharmed, and the employee merely staged to look like he had been shot. We do not know why, but are leading theories that he wanted to prevent his relatives and coaches from being affected by the treachery. <coughs> So he took the easy way out, fool, Matsushita Masaharu mumbled, or raising his voice once more, no matter. It's darning enough, darning enough to know that I'm not being paranoid anymore. Hitachi and the Kampai Tai and God knows who else are in league with each other to undermine me. Looking at what they did, it seems that they were getting their sandals wet from crossing the Rubicon. It reads like a coup plot. The plotters pose a very real threat to the security of Guangdong. Yes, time is of the urgency. They must be stopped, Chief Executive. The Commissioner strained his back, ready to receive the orders for a complete crackdown. Regardless, the violent purge of these unsavory individuals would only make us look weak. I'm confident. Unworthy of sovereignty, perhaps. The diplomatic ramifications of such an endeavor would most likely get us replaced, regardless. Chief Executive, the Commissioner slouched slightly, unsure of, he, of, of if he was overstepping his boundaries. What do you propose? We're going to have a chat with the Camp Ata. While I'm at it, can someone give me another number for the Jap Japanese Consul General? Which we already got. Underworld Ascendant, if you want to be this, please go ahead. God dang it, I hate this one. Oh, we're actually doing okay. Look at that. Ooh. If it's just us, we're doing okay with getting the straights done. Solemn representation. <clears throat> this was neutral ground. The most powerful people in Guangdong locked themselves in a room booked in some nameless high rise spire aiming to dominate the Koshu skyline. Gathered in a circle, Matsushita Masaharu, Colonel Miyazaki, the Kampai Tad, General Nagano, the IJA, and Japanese Consul General Takashima Clutch of Replete Report Copy. The Chief Executive and Colonel Miyazaki were placed opposite each other, spending their time staring daggers into each other's souls. The Clash of Wills. 
A certainly thorough chief executive Miyazaki spoke, choosing words with extreme care, but meaningless. Most of this uh, circumstantial evidence, huh? I think you'll find that we've gone above and beyond mere circumstance, Colonel, Matsushita Masaharo's fierce counter attack. That report is 200 pages long. You read it all, no? We have photos, finger reports, and testimony. I would not call that meaningless. <clears throat> When a Jewish chief executive, Colonel Miyazaki, returned to the volley of his own, turned towards the two neutral arbitrators, Consul General, General Nagano, you must see that this is a waste of time. The Kampai Tab has been a force of security and co-prosperity for nearly 20 years in the Pearl River Delta. They would be in a league with Machuria to create some sort of five team. It's insane. Insane the chief executive prepared his final offensive to finish Miyazaki. It would be quick, clean, and brutal. Exactly what they prided themselves on. What is insane is your agents continue to blockade the largest airport in Guangdong and flagging down Hitachi. Enough, both of you. The Consul General slammed the report down on the conference table. Neither of you seem willing to have a rational conversation, so it seems I must step in. You're like bickering children. If you continue to plot and scheme around each other, then my next report to Tokyo will go into a lure detail and ask them to find exa exactly what the Camp I are doing here and how it came to that. Do you want that? The room returned to silence. General Nagano cleared his throat and stood up. The war of yours will come to an end, or I will end it for you. Zhang Yang Qiu Yi. <clears throat> Lin Feng Mian stuck out after paint, the painting ex exhibition ended. It was the end of the evening, and even Takashima had taken his leave, but Hirata Shoto left for him no real choice but to sit down and talk with a man that he knew for a fact was a great luminary of art in the late 20th century. Hirata's curiosity was piqued by the contrast between his and Lin's painting styles, whereas Hirata's tendency was towards traditional Japanese Nihonga. Lin preferred Western-influenced modernist artworks. He went over that with Lin, who cheerfully discussed it with him, but then grew solemn as the conversation went on in Japanese. All right, of course. Noticing and inquired, what seems to be the issue? The Guangdong born Lin, Lin replied, sighing, It grieves me that I had to converse in my homeland with another painter in a foreign tongue. Her art I don't really understand yet. He made his confusion known. But art surely transcends borders in human languages. Lin sighed, saying, Would that be... Would that, that, would that, that were so? But even the art that does, as you say, is inseparably influenced by the circumstances in which it's created. <clears throat> At that moment, Harada understood his colleague's feelings more clearly and not his understanding. The rest of the conversation proceeded pleasantly enough, and the two painters parted on good terms. Lin bade the other painter farewell well with a good respectful bow that carried a certain finality to it. For he knew the way the world was, that they would probably never see each other again. Oh, we actually won. Look at that. Nice. We've got their plans. Ah, they're no longer a threat. Hey, thank God. Does they destroy them? Oh, there goes Cameroon, but who cares about Cameroon right now? Um, I want to urge corrupt officers, but we gotta get ready for the war coming up. It's almost impossible to do. You can grab some of that if you really want. Denial! <clears throat> uh, check everyone and everything. Uh, stall, stir man, ace frantically up and down during a, in a converted classroom. Well, by the time you all go on lunch break, I want the entire of Hong Kong's person no brush over with a fine tooth comb. I want to check, double check, and shovel check. Each desk had a typewriter, each equipped, <clears throat> with an overworked underpaid secretary typing as fast as they could every now and then. Uh, the orchestra of clacking paper being ripped out of its seams would give way to silence as each employee would risk a glance at the list of Camp Pai officials that, or officers that were given. After a few seconds, a symphony born out of fear of un unpaid overtime and the terror of Camp Pai higher ops would begin again, its tempo increasing faster and faster. <clears throat> Lieutenant Hayakawa. The doors opened, revealing the vestige of Colonel Miyazaki. Have the list of captains been assorted yet? I spent two hours telling three second lieutenants that they would be transferred back to Tokyo for the foreseeable future. I didn't have the time to waste one more. Yes, Colonel responded. Put a large stack of files sitting upon what used to be a teacher's desk. Right now, we're conducting a sweep of the entirety of Hong Kong. The entirety of Hong Kong to see what personnel we saw remaining. We should be done within the day. Go to Hayakawa. The Colonel stepped closer, putting a hand on his subordinate's shoulder. You make this, and I could get Tokyo to make an exception for the lieutenants to be sent to Taiwan. No place for a rising star like you. The lieutenant gave a silent salute and with a nod of approval from a superior. <clears throat> Turned back and sat down himself to a towering collection of papers and lists, each with their own name. Inside the IJ headquarters, a very different drama was playing out on the phone with the Itachi representatives he could get a hold of. He was preparing his case. The army played their hand too far, worse, they had shown it to their enemies. The camp by tower were on the verge of an implosion, but he, oh, the old general's job was damage control. This is General Gano, get Komai on the line now, he's about to do something very, very uh, stupid. <clears throat> Well, we're 53. You're so fighting over a straight if you do it like this, so. Smoldering frustration. It's just not possible anymore, Lao J. Contact said. Our deal was made when you, there wasn't a paper trail leading back to us. But now, now you got, you're going to do what you're told, Lieutenant. Come on, try to convert his glass from the newspaper on his desk. There was a glass full of a cloudy, colorless liquid and experimental Hokkaido sake. I was a drink that he'd reserve for his inevitable victory against all the forces when Guangdong could throw at him. Inevitable? What a word. When the chief executive finds us out how far your little rabbit hole goes, do you expect to get any mercy from him? If we strike now or get picked off later, we, already, we have already everything in place. I'm sorry, come on, there's nothing I can do. <clears throat> Kumai stayed silent, clearing the newspaper on his desk. Can't I implicate and plot? 
The image on the front cover was the chief executive, clear and uh, portrait-esque. He was speaking to a crowd adorned with banners and signs, like how a complacent king would speak to his peasants after an attempt at his life, still without empathy, without care, without violent vision. No, there isn't. There never was. Come on, put the phone down. Without another word. <clears throat> After a few seconds, the Hitachi CEO plucked the phone from its rest and put his finger to the dial. There's still another way, there always was, yet as he punched the last numbers in, he felt a wave come over him. How dare the camp I tie? How dare the garrison? I look upon the degenerate waste of Koshu and they deem it acceptable? He picked up the phone and prepared to speak to his benefactors. As the line connected, Kamai picked up the receiver and slung it against the far wall, shattering it. Kamai Kinichiro put his hands down to his face, caressing his craft skin, and seemed to utter something that almost sounded like, How dare I? Undercut 1955. <clears throat> Matsushita Masaharu fell. Uh, the morning's copy of the Canton Can uh, Kaizai Shimbun crumpled in his hands, even as his salted salmon grew cold. Uh, Sachiko's voice, at first sighted and carefree, then increasingly tinged with concern, sounded as if it was a destined echo. The only thing his brain was capable of processing was the newspaper's headline. Uh, Sonus Lee Electronics Company released his first portable radio outside of Japan in Guangdong. Nothing about the radios, monochrome TVs, or refrigerators that Matsushita delivered to the world. Even after scanning each page from corner to corner, there was no major mention of Matsushita Electric. With only cursory reviews of the air conditioner that had finally made Masaharu's day long, tormented by heat and humidity, humanely tolerable. All eyes were on the first step of a technological revolution being made in Guangdong, one that Masashi Matsushita Electric had missed. Feeling well, maybe she'd call in sick. A tap on his shoulder brought Masaharu back to his senses, with Sachiko looking on wordily. I'm fine, Masaharu lied, forcing himself to smile, be heading off soon, just not hungry. The show rang at the phone in the next room cut Masaharu off, as Sachiko rushed to answer his, their un unexpected call. Masaharu! Uh, Sachiko's voice pitched lower, quieter, the deference accorded uh, to one's betters. Sachiko's first words as she returned to the living room filled Masaharu with renewed dread. You're wanted in Osaka for a meeting, dear. Oh boy. More expect support lowers these guys, but whatever. The auction rounding success. The time of incessant building and tireless planning has finally drawn to a close. The numerous inactive assets of val varying value and nature have all been redistributed accordingly to the participant corporations, with each entity rece receiving a sizable slice of the properties and items involved. <clears throat> it has become apparent that our vigorous and diligent efforts to create an efficient auction have succeeded. The conference of each of Guangdong's noteworthy corporations has been filed or filled, satiating their desires in the markets and hiding or standarding within the often uh, capricious legislative council, securing a position as, as a present, undoubtedly. The ultimate benefactor would be as us, as we have managed to acquire a remarkable amount of assets due to our inherent advantage and elevated budget. Overall, the reports clearly demonstrate the resounding success of this operation with the satisfactory results from all ends. To the next matter. Beautiful. I might actually have a surplus, maybe. Hey, test straits, nice. Now we need mountains, river... Combats and uh, jungles, really hot jungles. So we're here. We're going to continue doing this because we do have the political power. Board. You know what we'll do? Oh, now that police, but we lost this one, so that's not good. Uh, we're equal here, so at least we got this one. Ooh, they both have yakuza here. They're fair weather friends. Mazda Shiro Masaharu. Oh, look at this. Glowered across the table from the two legislative council members sitting across from him. Nemoto Tada Mori and Onishi Akahiro, just two of the many crockroaches that scurried in Hitachi's bed. With Hitachi defeated and Komai's gamble lost, they were now back trying to get into the chief executive's bed again. These men were absolutely morally bankrupt. They no loyalty to anyone but themselves, and money followed and followed money like pigs sniffing for truffles. They were vermin and absolutely unfit to serve, and Matsushita Masaharu was naturally about to accept them back into the fold. There's no other option. The chief executive needed to regroup and rebuild after the chaos of Hitachi's fell coup, and this meant bring, bringing all hands on deck, no matter how suspect those might, hands might be. Nemoto Onishi knew, too. Their outwardly contrite expressions barely masked their smug smiles. So while in the bow of the throne erupted from his throat, the chief executive coughed once and shook hands with both men. Hidden underneath the table, the first other fist was clenched so tightly that his fingernails drew blood. Welcome back, my friends. Resolving future insolvencies. The devastation left in the wake of Yusuda's collapse has made one thing clear. is that the laws and regulations governing the resolution of uh, bankrupt companies are dangerously outdated, leaving the carcasses of dead ro firms rotting in the Guangdong's economic ecosystem for months on end. <clears throat> Every day insolvent firm clings to life without recourse to restructuring or financial bailout is a day that capital is diverted from the most productive sectors of the economy, and our bankruptcies must be rewritten, re 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 to this end. How many more days do we have until the product cycle? 19. That's not bad. Uh, I'm going to ignore this for now, even though this would be good to do 12%, 12%. Uh, I need to save the political power for this, really. But a shout to the uh, West. Um, I read this before, but this is the same thing as before, but with uh, Matsushita Masaharu. We stand inches from a fire and we cannot put it out. Cool. He's slowly learning. Which is still good. Uh, what is this one? Jungle? Uh, try it again. 22%. Is it going up at all? Not really. Question of quotas. 
Oh. Mm. I've read this before as well. If you want to do this too, um, please go right ahead. Shows quality and let them in. Increases Chinese government support in the state and every own state. More growth. More Zhu Jin support. The chief executive shows quality and closes doors. Well, let's see where we're at right now with everybody. Oh, so close to here. So close. But we're almost at 50%, which is pretty good. Zhujin support is at 60, almost 64%. That's already very good. I kind of want to let the Chinese in. 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Let's go with this one. Choose quantity. Let them in. Because now we're over 50%, which is actually really good for us. 1942. <clears throat> um, and this is about lamb. If you wonder about this one, please go ahead as well. I don't understand. I don't understand a lot of things either, but whatever. Beginning of this product cycle, very nice. We want Matsushi the most. Who doesn't want us the most? So we're doing that. Any 7000 home automated washing machine. Simple washing drum, but fully automated. All right, so let's take a look see. Uh, target markets. We can give it to China. We could use a little more support. We could use more Chinese support actually too. I think I might do them. Profitability is not great. But I want them to like us a little bit more. One. Um, we'll do both these as well and do that one. There we go. With that in mind, we're going to go and do this one then too. But right now, close out of this one, we are at what? We're still at almost 75%, which is pretty good. So I'm feeling pretty good. All the roads lead to Koshu. As the Nissan truck rumbled across the express lane, <clears throat> you had to admire the roads it drove on. The pavement, the lights, and the trucks made this side of the border strikingly different, electrified and clean from the moment one crossed over the border. This is a new world, Zhu thought to herself. She prayed it was a better one. From the moment Zhu escaped into Guangdong, she and a dozen others had been shepherded into a truck headed to Koshu. <clears throat> Supposedly, this is where the work was now. For all, it meant that it was a few more hours of standing. If now shoulder to shoulder with a crowd of desperate refugees, Zhu now wished she could lie down. She'd been on her feet for two days now. As the last hour rolled around, Zhu finally considered whether this new land would be any better. It seemed safer, perhaps, but she couldn't help but a sense of carelessness to the process. Who would she arrive at? What would she arrive at when she landed? Was she about to be th thrown to the wolves once more? It wasn't a question worth litigating either way. No matter her fate, her old life was gone, and Guangdong was just a few hours away. Finally, a few hours later, the back of the truck rolled open, and the crowd of refugees stumbled out on the streets of Koshi. As you ducked down and jumped out of the truck, the driver turned to her with a flyer in his hand. The first word of the paper, Mitsubishi. Nice. The agency towards the people. Because smaller businesses, they're saying how business should be run. The bankruptcy process will be more lenient towards individuals so they can get back on their feet. Versus ensure corporate interests are heard. The bankruptcy process will be streamlined and simplified for companies. To avoid the excess of collateral. Well, right now, what are we at? We're not, anyway, we'll probably do leniency towards the people. Statistically speaking, the small and medium-sized enterprises in Guangdong are the most likely to face bankruptcy when faced with difficult times, often without access to legal advice or adequate protections for when creditors come calling. Though it may not be the most efficient in terms of promoting economies of scale, the large corporations in Guangdong will ensure that the voices of the smaller entrepreneurs are heard as they draft new insolvency regulations. Cool. Where are we at for this? 22, 29? Yeah. Average profitability. Not much else right there. Branding. <clears throat> I think I read this one last time too. If you read this, please go right ahead. So, yep. To survive, you must let everything else burn. Yay! And burn it well. Are we any better here? No, we're not. Yeah, bro, that sucks. That real sucks. Oh, one of the comments from yesterday though was, uh, looks like things are going well for Masashita. Also, want to make if. I want you to make the Corruption Investigation Ordinance as an independent branch. One more thing, do the Fuse with the State, a very OP focus, but the cost of stability and corruption. Uh, where are we at here? Good. Uh, yeah, probably best to wait for this one, but whatever. Research group, ooh, research group churns. Oh. Well, if you're into this, please go ahead. We, oh, it decreases one of our seats by one. Oh, God. This is not very good for us. Just because we couldn't do very much. That's so unfair. Indonesia, that's so unfair. It's not funny. So now, where are we at? Uh, 48 seats. God dang it. Yes. Well, let's see just a little bit. <sighs> Whatever. Does something else pop up around here? Fifty-two and 54. It's not bad.
We get 2.13 physical power every day, which is very nice. Beautiful. So we do this right now. What does it look like? So, oh, we are already 50 votes. That's nice. We get more Chunkong. We lose some Fujitsu and Hitachi support. Ooh, that's not going to be good. So we do this one. Admin efficiency gets better. More Japanese expats, more Japanese approval. Growth gets more. So actually, huh. We might need to be a little corrupt here from time to time. Pass the amendments. The draft amendments of Guangdong's archaic insolvency legislation are ready for debate in the Legislative Council. No one would disagree with the need for some kind of amendment to these laws, and Matsushita has made sure to canvass the business community beforehand to secure the support. Passing this legislation will be an early signal of how capable we are of bending the Legislative will, Council to our will. This is what we wanted. So right now we are actually okay, so I want to see what happens. We're not in council yet. This is going to hurt us a little bit maybe. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just do this one. It's not that much corruption. It's a tiny bit, so I'm not super concerned. But we'll see. Also since we're here to 15, here do that one. It's easy to get this one back. Mm -hmm. 75%. Um, what do we have for this? Yeah, we're gonna lower the support support from us. We're gonna definitely do that one. There's 40 days left. We'll get some more Japanese expat support in a little bit too. And then we'll do this one too. That'll be good. <coughs> and where are we at? Or we could do this one instead. 34 days. Yeah, it might be better to do that one instead for now. Leniency. Passing the amendment. So right now, we are at 48, which is not good towards the people. Decrease miscellaneous income. That's not good. Decreases decreases Japanese expat support. Okay, interesting. So we went with them. Oh, well, we might need to save it then. We'll see how this goes for now. We know I can always back it up and retry it slightly differently, so... One Crisis Ends. Um, this is basically the same thing as I read before, so if you remember about One Crisis Ends, please go right ahead. My bad, that was uh, Discord. Not bad. Usually you get events saying, hey, people want to give us stuff here. Twenty days. It's pretty good for product stuff. Um, investigate Lego Mine Group Finances. Hong Kong seats. When selected, how many days do we have left? Eleven. So we can get uh, twenty-two. Uh, that might be enough. Tiny bit more corruption, I'm okay with for now. You might be able to get it done. You need one more vote. Yeah, we, we should be able to get it. It's gonna be very tight though. Oh my god, it's gonna be tight. Oh, we won't, we won't be able to get that. But let's double check. Nothing to fear. An adequate and skillful police force is the cornerstone of enforcement and maintenance in a truly successful nation. It is an ambition that many strive for, but alas, it's easier said than done. Now this task will be extremely burdensome and demanding. The current police force of Guangdong is in front too in a demonstration against the authority of the administration, dating back to the before the Yudasuda crisis, and only being exacerbated by the event. The police force has been and still undeniably is woefully underequipped and undermanned, and absolutely unsuitable for its exacting task of the pacification of the clutter and chaos of Guangdong's ever busy streets. In order for the police force to truly become a capable tool of imposition and pacification, plenty of effort and funds will be required as to change the pitiful reality of our current protectors of the nation. Nice. Hmm. 
Moderating the corruption. Turn a blind eye to her own. Well, let's, uh, let's at least placate the opposition eventually, but we're still trying to pass the amendment, so it's going to take us a little bit more time to get there than I would have really liked. Strong the bill. While building it with a lackluster foundation, no matter how opulent or magnificent it becomes, will eventually inevitably collapse. The police will have to be utterly ripped apart and retrained from the bottom up. Its officers will be drilled and worked intensely to ensure that they proficiently understand and are able to recount his will. As performed the procedures for the enforcement of policies and law and methods of handling dissent and violence. Further training is able to begin, however. We must first address the decadent excess that is gathered around the police force. Completely incapable of personnel leeching off of the resources of the administration. These elements will be assuredly and swiftly eliminated, as there's no room for incompetence in an efficient and productive force. Suicide by cop. That's getting ridiculous, so I thought. There were ten men, all armed, yet they were just stood there. What could they do without killing him? Drinking by the slur, the semi coherent way in which the suspect spoke and swung his knife around is clearly more dangerous to himself than the Koshu's finest. Perhaps it would be best to try and calm the suspect down. Soy. Turn to the commander, change his mind before he opened his mouth. Despite Soy being of sensibly second in command, Lieutenant Furukawa was not a man who was receptive to advice. He felt it made him look soft, and all the same, he didn't want a corpse to do with either. Too much paperwork, and on a Friday no less, so he stood there idly bellowing his guts out. No, asking for permission wasn't going to solve anything, so I took a step forward. His colleagues in Furukawa looked among themselves, unsure what to do. The suspect's movements became more animated and haphazard. H have you have you chosen then, Peg? He asked. Are you going to be the one that kills me? My name is Soy, said. Nobody's here to kill you. If you can put, just put that weapon down, what's your name? He didn't drop his weapon, but he did lower it. Ng, he said. My name is Ng. Nice to meet you, Ng. Why are you swinging a knife around it? People could get hurt. I don't know. Things have been just been... It's been just just. I don't know anything anymore. Ning was crying now that the blade remained in his hand. We want help, Ying. But we can't do that until you put the weapon down. If we can do that, I can get my colleagues to lower their weapons. Upon hearing this challenge to his authority, Furukawa rose from his stupor. No such thing will happen. Drop the weapon in five seconds or die, he shouted in Japanese. But what's he saying, he said, raising his knife once again. One of the officers fired, the shot landing inches away from Ning's head. Ng ran out of the alleyway towards the street, towards people. As they ran after Ng, the police shot repeatedly, tearing holes in the nearby walls and causing civilians to dive out of the way. Eventually, a shot would land, so he knew, but who knew what else would get hurt first? And if someone did try to get hit, or if someone did get hit, he knew, knew full well that he would be blamed all for trying to help. And there's no mercy in justice right now. 51% is not bad. Corruption is only 3%, which is actually really good. nice. A merciful heart. Most other activities would no longer be built, tolerated. Promote corporate security firms. Increase police presence is not bad. We get more seats too. And get more jobs. Expect government support, which is not bad. But way more corruption. Enforce higher standards. Hmm. Well, let's see. We do want to fuse with the state, apparently. Which makes things very corrupt. Oh my god. Um. 29. Holy crap. Corruption investigation. As an independent body. It's not bad. Maintain our influence. <clears throat> to acknowledge frustration is no weakness. Adherence to status quo. I do need more seats, but I don't want any more corruption. Modern in the council's corruption. Corruption, an abominable, heinous blot on Guangdong's administration, running rampant throughout the Legislative Council ever since the tenure of Suzuki Taichi. It certainly integrated itself into the Council through the years, the cash finding its way into the pockets, the walls and coffers of the most unremarkable secretary to the highest echelons of corporate offices. With such an integrated cancer, it's impossible to rid ourselves of it at once. We can begin to monitor its spread and begin minor attempts to eventually stamp it out, increase penalties for notice, notice, uh, corruption, and rooting out certain persons. But no, for corruption, it serves a fine beginning as it would benefit our budget by making government governance cheaper in general and affect other companies a lot more than our own. Happy September, everybody. Happy September. Ah, very nice. Um, at the same time, we will need to increase corruption just a little bit so we can get more seats for us. So, I don't mind doing that immediately. And this whole thing over here, uh, we're still doing China just because I want to increase their approval of us, which is not super high, but I think it'd be best overall. And we have... A pretty good amount of product quality and interest, so. Uh, washing machine. Most people in the 20th century wash their clothes in much the same way as their ancestors did for millennia. Scrubbing by hand with soapy water. For the ways all the technology revolutionized daily life, this was one area where the change has been hard to come by. That changes now. The release of the Matsushita Electric's new automated washing machine, the NE7000. No more will housewives be forced to spend hours doing nothing but washing, scrubbing, and rinsing instead. They simply put all their clothes into the machine's large drum, add soap, and turn it on. The machine then goes through all the steps of washing automatically, leaving the user free to do other things. There are even settings to make sure that the machine applies appropriate force to different types of clothing. While this may not offer the same level of precision to each individual item that hand washing does, the hours of time saved are truly worth it. Another labor saving technology of the future. Beautiful. Increase the chance of speed by almost 7%. 
That's really good. So now we can focus on well, I guess corruption, but really trying to get uh, stuff done here for us. 6%, not great. But, oh, it's, it's divided. God dang it. What did the Kenpai Tag come back here? Much ado about something. Well, how's the product out well, there? Very well. The customers, that is to say, the warlords are immensely pleased with the product. Uh, source of mine informed me uh, that since this was installed, a certain one has not even turned off a single time. And the engine's report? Engineer's reports? Uh, initially, they faced many difficulties with designing a model capable of handling the Chinese heat. Well, it's up overheating, of course. <clears throat> um, but by adapting several features on already existing models, they report that the current design should be easily adaptable for mass production shortly. In fact, we may not have a product for other tropical... What about the rest of the people? Beg pardon, sir? The Chinese people. The millions of potential customers that have watched as we fan and cool the overlords and now probably wonder why we have to suffer in the heat. Or why they have to suffer in the heat. After all, I was the one that ordered the survey the t of them under your name. Did you not receive the result yet? I have, sir. The result is not exceptionally positive. <clears throat> it seems that we have contributed somewhat to a growth in social tension with this product as a focal point. We may have to consider increased security. Um, there's another way to consider this instead, and that we have just received confirmation of very high demand of air conditioners by a very large consumer base. If we cannot sell to our customers, why not sell to the local governments that tax all their income away anyways? We sell them as both the public service and the means of reducing local unrest. Local unrest that we cause, sir. After all, the best markets are the ones you create for yourself. Absolutely. I guess. I don't know. I'm not a business person. <clears throat> yeah, of course. Strongly built, my friends, nothing to hide. Under the table dealings, the disappearance of funds, shady favors, corruption is deeply ingrained. Of course, almost, almost every practice in Guangdong, from the colossal business interests operating the country to the shady bureaucrats working in, in our, every tier of government. There's always someone paying it another for another way around the law. This great web of corruption and governance makes it extremely expensive and at times ineffective. So, best interest is attack this culture of corruption wherever it's found, and hopes that we can build up a power for an even stronger administrative influence. A quick reboot. Oh. Which one's this one? Um. Oh, Colombia. Well, I mean, I think I've read this one, pretty much read this one before as well, you know. So, we're going to Columbia next. Subsidize, thank you very much. You know, we failed here, kind of, so we'll try better here. I'm going to let by Mr. Uh, Watanabe. I didn't even realize they were fighting down here. Just in case I saw a save. Yeah, let's see. Ah, uh, let's do this one first. 1946 part 1. Uh, what is this one? The men in khaki colored uniforms returned to the village. An entourage of sharply dressed, besuited businessmen accompanied them, the villagers. Stood and watched as they knocked on the headman's door. Lamb. Oh, lamb stood among them. Oh, if you want to read this, continue reading this, please go ahead. I've read this one before, definitely so. Um, when the world winds blow eastward, is it wrong for ships to sail there within? Or therewith? Stare at the roots. The swamp. Increase Chinese support. Unmask the worst of offenders. It's not bad. Um, increases our own seats, which I do like. Merciful heart. Enforce higher standards. Increases Japanese expert support. Local recruitment. Nothing to see. One of the most corrupt parts of the country is the Yakuza, the crime organization of Japan. While extremely powerful in the home country, have insurmountable power in Guangdong. They're everywhere. The streets, the casinos, the police departments, and thanks to the shady dealings of Matsushita's predecessor, even within the government. Matsushita sees the Yakuza as a danger to both his power and the efficiency of the nation. In order for Matsushita's plan to work without disruption, he must first eliminate his criminal rivals. Police are dominant for now, which is good to see. I don't mind increasing corruption a little bit before, because we're doing all this stuff anyways. So it increases corruption by 2.5%. Ooh, decrease the police control. Oh, come on. Uh, maybe one of this please go to head. That sucks. Increase it. Decrease it. Increase it. God dang it. How much is it going up by every month? 1%. Not ideal, but it is what it is. And we're going to make sure we do even better here in Colombia than we did in the other nation of uh, Indonesia, which sucks because we only had a year with them. So. C'est la vie, some might say. It is what it is. Because right now we're at 49 boats. We need just one more. Hey, we've got Investments House of Technology, though. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Hey, that stain's finally gone for the 6,000th time. So what are the goals for this one? Jungle, mountain, river, equipment, rainy and stormy. That's, uh, pretty normal. Not bad. Not bad overall. Business as usual. I'm sorry, Mr. Yamoka. Yamaoka, 
but the safety railings of the facility are simply not up to code. It'd be gross betrayal that my ethical principles allow the workforce to continue operating in this sorry state. Nobody's had any problems with that for the last five inspections. None of our competitors have put in such ludicrous investments, and yet they all seem to be continuing to function. It's outrageous. I demand to speak to your superior. I'm sympathetic to your plight, Mr. Yamaoka. Really, I am. Fortunately, the Cantonese state has always has ways of resolving such predicaments. So from our observations, you seem a highly intelligent and upstart individual, so I'm certain you would be interested in our alternative program. That's just, what might that be, Mr. Inspector? As you've already said, the official rulings correspond to preventing highly situational accidents, which are likely to be avoided assuming the proper workplace training is put in place. However, they say it requires some level of relief for the neediest in our society, including those careless enough to be put injured at work. A charitable good donation will go a long way towards preventing the future ills of society, and will be more than a demonstration of this facility's commitment to its workforce. I see. Well, my heart's been bleeding for the poorest souls of our society lately, so let me see if I can write you a check or two. Of course, the machine stays lubricated, which is great. Now, let's talk about next week. As now, we'll try to pass the amendments. His back slammed into the wall, a thud, then dull pain. The sharper pain would become later, he knew. They wanted money, money he didn't have another week. He begged, however, there were no gods in Guangdong, none that would listen, none but pain. The crunch of fists over and over, pulsing rhythms of pain. It continued, it did not stop. He was on the floor now, blood flowed out of his mouth, gravel and dust entered his mouth. His begging became incoherent. They kicked, they kicked, and kicked again. They kicked again, and sources of pain became incoherent. Locations of pain became ill-defined. There was only pain. Eventually, the pulses stopped. Something coursed through his mind, thought, speech, uncertain, money. More money by next week. He would not be able to pay. Who would, would it just be better to die now? Life is cheap. Dad is not. So right now, we can pass this, which is great. No excuse, 1955. Mm -hmm. A revolutionary concept brought to Guangdong in, in a, under a year by a surprising yet undoubtedly talented source. Flop. The success of Sonus Lee showed that anything is indeed possible three years into the life of the co-prosperity sphere's ec latest economic experiment. Flop. It's with the Mexican motions that we welcome the rise of a non-Japanese firm to the forefront of electronics. On the face of established players as, like Matsushita Electric. Flop. Nobody dared to offer a word in the face of Matsushita Konosuke's dispassionate disposal of the early papers, morning papers in their headlines for fear of attracting undue attention to themselves. It was a prudent choice, seeing as if there's only one target of uh, Konosuke's ira, Masaharu, who gritted his teeth and sons in the boardroom at Masushida's Osaka's headquarters. I'm reminded of something from watching Sumo the other day, Konosuke remarked. When a favorite wrestler suffers an upset, the first and easiest explanation is complacency, a lesson for uh, all of us. If we take our own position for granted without the quality or innovation to justify it, then someone else will take our place. Konosuke hadn't named anyone, perhaps out of his mercy for his adopted son after all. Masaharu's failings would look like Konosuke's own, but it mattered little to Masaharu. The point of accusing stares surrounding the table said everything Konosuke had not. Exposed and vulnerable towards financial independence. For all the benefits of our close relationship with Tokyo, the recent crisis has made it quite clear that a close association with Japan can be as a curse as much as it is a blessing. A struggle to procure. The need of financing to make up for a budget shortfall is being but the example, most prominent example. Now, power, Matsushita, will ensure that such embarrassments will never come to trouble Guangdong. The first step in this long road will be asserting our financial independence. The task will not be easy, but failure is not an option if you're to see Guangdong prosper. As we are doing our best down here, too. Uh, where are we at for this? We're actually doing pretty well so far. Um, hmm. Here we go, river crossings, mountains, and jungle. Oh, are we in... We are in valleys. We need jungle, eh? Yeah, we'll come down here. Quickly, move. Oh my god, you are so slow. Jesus Christ. Oh, you're getting attacked too. But you're still, you're, you're so slow. Of course, I think it's lagging as well. So, whatever. You're gonna lag as hard as you can, can't you? Okay, okay, I'm, I'm done. You get there. Get there. Come on. Jesus Christ, you are so slow. It's not funny. They're monks, People's Republic. It's a little different. Is that new? Oh, this guy loves the Shita. Shistaka. Huh. Oh, nigga. Beautiful. Learn. No, you are staying there. You're going here then if you want to waste on it. Good, and you're going to learn more. Stop learning. It's not good. River crossings, jungle conditions. Ah, he's learning more now, which is good, but not stop the shambling advance. If you're about that, please go right ahead. Forever in the shadow of your aspirations. Oh. I oh, haven't heard this one. They all looked disheveled in some way, Lamb noticed, as the line outside the city offices steadily expanded. It wasn't so much that they were shabbily dressed, though there were plenty of crooked ties, crumpled shirts, suits that no longer fit, but a more general attitude of defeat. Matsushita Electric might have had decent rags, 
rage of clothes, irons on the market, but they'd yet to invent anything that took the creases out of your face. Here it was, the end of the line. They wouldn't make the house anymore, take the house anymore, but they still wouldn't leave you much else. At least you'd still have your needs if your debts were so above board. Which couldn't be true for everyone in this town. So he'd never taken money from the mob back in those days, and the line was a good deal of money more orderly than expected. All the same, Lamb and his colleagues had been stationed close by just in case. Some part of Lamb wished someone would act up, watching the line stretch forward. That way, the contemplated a part of his mind could give way to mechanical procedure, as it was. All I could see was his own face on the worst of his day, uh, worst life, worst day of his life. They're all getting an unexpected degree of lenience. Lamb knew as a, as sure as he knew he was still standing years later in a more or less comfortable state of existence, as he, as sure as he knew that the stench of failure would randomly wander into their nostrils even during happy moments, never fully going away, forever in the shadow of your aspirations. Nice. Part two, uh, 1946. Part two. If you remember this, please go right ahead. Nice. Ensure a healthy budget. Yeah, it's probably good to do. A balanced budget is a healthy budget. While Suzuki and his crewmates may have thought it would be wise to spend money, uh, spend or yen like water, it's up to us to clean the mess they created. It won't be an easy task, of course. Here's the deficit spending has left everyone with their own gold and gooses and sacred cows. And we need, some, need to tread carefully to keep a majority and balance a budget. Cut too many cows and raise too many taxes, but we may yet find ourselves in the rather similar position to our former chief executive. Did you get it all done? No, you didn't, so you're not done yet. So you have to go in here like this. Oh. That guy. Don't have any organization. But whatever. All that matters is that we get our experience. Would you stop? Why do you want to go up there? You're done. You're done with that. The GFT. Oh, in the eyes of the Zhujin business owners of Guangdong, Masashido was doing nothing to help them. The chief executive was a man who liked the status quo far too much to put any pressure on the Japanese corporate elite, of course. Um, and Morita Keo and Li Kaxing were proving too ineffectual to deliver anything worth noting. Among the Zhujin business owners, a consensus of screw that if they wanted any appreciable change to occur, they needed a fulcrum, something that would put Matsushita in a bind and force them to help build a better future for the Zhujin. To then, a new organization was proposed, the Guangdong Federation of Tradesmen. Uh oh. This federation would allow the Zhujin to have collective bargaining power over in Guangdong's economic and political arenas. Um. Uh. Under the cover of a mutual assistance organization, Masashita might be able to turn a blind eye or uh, or run roughshod over the individual businesses, but an alliance of them speaking as one, chief executive would have no choice but to listen. At last, it would be a better future for the Zhujin. By their own hand, a better future for Guangdong. Progress at last. Nope. We're taking this back over. What do you mean? That we have pretty good support overall. Odd, but whatever. Doing okay. Still learning, still leaning, leaning and learning. So we're here going to do. German Rexy's detente with the Empire of Japan. Oh, Schmidt got sideline, huh? There you go. And is it yeah, doing again? Nice. So this we got more. That's good. Force the third. Make sure a healthy budget. Please with a balanced budget. That's always good to have, right? Meaning for the future of the budget. Between the gaps of the blinds of the boardroom, a picturesque view of Koshu stretched out from the horizon, such a high rise or a high up place, the city was a calming sight. The sharp warming light of the midday sun cast itself over every rooftop and caressed the gleaming surface of the Pearl River. Yet any illusion of calmness from, what was ab uh, from above was far removed from the reality of those on the ground. The writhing masses that scrummed beyond the line of sight from those above, a sharp tug closed the blinds, shooting up the outside, only artificial light struggling to cast light on the most influential men in Guangdong. Uh, the head of the stood at the table stood Matsushita, in the midst of giving a far from impassioned closing statement on his already dull introduction to the meeting. The topic of the day was Guangdong's finances, <clears throat> more specifically Japan's role within them. The chief executive had laid the details behind his point of view and that the more self-sufficiency would be required of the state would avoid excessive collateral impact from economic strife in the home islands. Uh, to the chief executive's right, Ibuka shook his head. He was no, he was not pleased with the position Matsushita had taken. Not only would the move annoy his contacts in Tokyo, the actions needed to achieve this view no doubt put a strain on the recovering economy. Chief Executive spoke of Ibuka. It is my duty to remind you of the cost of this objective. You need to raise revenue somehow, and any additional taxes will be vigorously opposed by all corporations. What's more, I do not believe that you made a single mention as to what Tokyo's view would on this be. Masashido was slow to meet Ibuka's concerns. He waited for the right words to come to him and spoke in a plain voice. Frankly, Ibuka, I think you overestimate how upset Tokyo will be with the prospect of decreasing its spending. As for the measures with that would be utilized, that is what we're here to discuss. Nothing will be implemented as of this moment, but when the time comes, I know what it is, what is for the best. The chief executive knows what's best. 
sitting at the Zabatsus, it's well known that, that we've been struggling to find acceptable deals uh, with the Japanese government directly, and so it's necessary for us to conduct an alternative path that may be better serving our interests. We have arranged meetings with several Japanese bankers, representatives of the Zaibatsus, in order to hope to establish suitable agreements about possible investments in Guangdong that would soon be a boon to our budget. If we get consistent support from the Japanese government is too much to ask for, we better give them as much as we can from the bankers instead. Why not? Doing okay here? Oh, the product cycle's done. Dang it. Uh, are we done with it? Yes, we are. So, mountains and river crossings. So, you're done there. Very nice. I think we've really shattered economic expectations. Hey, we still have a surplus. Nice, 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 nice. Eventually, we should. Uh, ooh, maybe only about this, please go ahead. Uh, we will be above uh, Manchuria, right? We should. Yeah, we're getting there. Not quite there yet, but we're definitely getting there. Uh, relatively quickly, actually. Uh, seven and a half percent. Okay, I'm okay with that. There you go. Regions. I want Hong Kong back. 1.25 percent. 2.2 percent. That's not good. Please, it's still going up too. Elected. Ooh. I didn't get too much there, huh? Mountains and well, this says valleys. Oh look, there. That'd be good. Go, 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 go. Bogata. Nice. There we go, nice, good. Make sure healthy budget. Some attack helicopters. For a rainy day. Masashida Masaharu pushed his left to review the revised government budget estimates for, estimates for Guangdong, tapping his pen repeatedly against the figures circled in the right at the bottom of the ledger. The figure is insignificant. Uh, a problematic, considering the financial hole that the government had barely climbed out of, even with the proposal to cut wasteful spending and attach new investment, there were little fiscal reserves left over. There's no point in running extravagant surpluses. Masashi knew all well as any other businessman that you had to spend money to make money, but you soon had proven that nothing offered more of the comfort of skittish investors than a pile of cash sitting in the bank. Idly, Masashida looked over the telephone silently, sitting at his desk. It would be a proper, it would be proper in you to call a meeting of the tycoons and ask them to do their fair share. They all suffered during the Yusuda crisis, trying to staunch the capital flight that had taken discriminate bites out of their stock prices. But the past history has no indicator of future performance, and if the venal uh, uh, politics of the Legislative Council were any indication, Masashida knew that the appealing to shared interests was a sucker's game. There was, of course, a path less traveled. All Masashida needed was a pile of cash on paper that was large enough to convince investors to say the course, and for the most investors, a promise backed by government was more than good enough. As a former banker, he knew the words the other banks and institutional investors needed to hear. The safeguards and covenants that would give him access to their money and let him keep the risk. It was, of course, a scheme, but at least it would be his scheme and nobody else's. Call it tycoons is burned into the share. For some financial engineering. What is that one? Why not? Guarantee the investments. We'll guarantee investors more control of the investments in Guangdong and the conditions to support more political endeavors. Uh, sure, why not? Increases corruption by 5%. Mm -hmm. Decreases miscellaneous income. That's not good. Uh, find new sources of income. Guarantee their investment. No matter what, we need to ensure that investors receive their profits. It's the only hope that Gong Gong Guangdong has to recover their budget. It may signal a direct interference with the economy and the market, but we should do all that's necessary to back up their investments eventually. All of Guangdong will benefit from the long term prosperity despite short term harms that will result from this endeavor, of course. Nice. Nothing there yet. God dang it, that sucks. Is it Bogata? No, it's not. It's actually this one. That's the one we wanted. There we go. Did we get it completely done? Nice. So we need river crossings now, huh? Go right there. Yeah. That could probably work. It's going up rapidly. I love it. Oh, oh we were so close. Hey, let's get that level one done. And we're done! Research group churns, look at that. Filling all five, got two more seats, more money. Beautiful. And perfect, 4% growth, 5% real growth. Oh, that's so awesome. Like, well, that was one of the best times we've ever done that. We really have no control over this, do we? Um, three years of Guangdong, we're at 96%, get back to work. Increases our suits by further three. More Japanese expat support, more Zujin support, Japanese approval by 5%. So we can actually burn a little bit of approval right now if we really wanted to. I like the political power, but, ooh, money's not bad too. Hmm. 
base research speed. Liquid reserves wouldn't be bad either, but that doesn't really mean too much as much to me. Um, I kind of want this one. We'll do this one though. You know what? We'll do both. Let's get back to work. Why not? Right? Why not? We deserve it. Aerosol at level four, not bad. Say, uh, settling up to the Zaboxus. Guarantee their investments. Appropriate stakeholder returns, huh? <coughs> 1947. Everyone but that, please go ahead. We were all braves, brave once. So this one's going to increase the corruption by 5%. And over here, it's only that much percent. So we've got to wait a little bit. And then we'll purge uh, corrupt officials. Or actually, we might just go ahead and do this one. 5%. Um, this one does what? Increases it by 5 more police control, that's fine for now too. Appropriate stakeholder returns. With the influx of investors attracted to Guangdong, we need to ensure that they are satisfied with their decision. Therefore, we need to guarantee their profits, convincing them that their investments were fruitful, which may make them consider more beneficial long-term investments. The issue is squarely on whether the profits will be gathered from. Currently, we can only scrounge up excess funds from whatever opportunity appears, but at least investors are happy. Formation of the uh, Committee of Chinese Labor. Uh, for all of the various propagandists and ideals in Tokyo or Osaka, my protest otherwise, virtually everyone knew in their heart of hearts that Chinese people throughout the sphere, but especially in Guangdong, have been turned into second class citizens in their own homeland. Uh, everyone knew that too, that Matsushita uh, was fully aware of this. He also knew that he was perfectly fine with it. He, like so many others, was a willing believer in China Japanese superiority, or at least in the greater uh, degree of enlightenment of the Yamato race. Small wonder then that the Chinese people of Guangdong began to hate him more and more in the three years since he took power from Matsuzawa Takuji. The hatred was only fanned by the way Matsushita governed. When Matsushita spoke of compromise and rational governance, and the Chinese service that the Japanese would stay on top and no one else could rise to the level. When Matsushita talked to reform, all the Chinese saw was an attempt at placating them without genuinely addressing their concerns. What made matters, made matters worse was that most of the time they were on the nose of their, in their estimates. As time passed on, of course, the Chinese resentment grew as it became clear that the government was not even remotely interested in truly listening to the Chinese people or offering them a chance at advancement. So workers began to be in circuit to organize for better working conditions, and in some even spoken greater theories of change, of democratization, of the three principles of the people, of returning to the Chinese homeland. This talk in particular was especially intense in the beginning of the Mingguo year 56, that is, with the passage of 56 years since the establishment of the Republic of China. This ad hoc committee would eventually coalesce into one committee, the Committee on Chinese Labor, and visiting Osaka. In summer, business in Guangdong is going well. Matsushita's position in the region is stable and improving. Tokyo's support has been enthusiastically much appreciated, and Guangdong has been successful in achieving its economic targets, explained Masaharu, sitting across from his father-in-law. Despite how positive the report was, his entire trip to Osaka had been fulfilled dread over what would come next. Matsushita Sr. nodded to himself after Masaharu finished his report and began to speak. I'd expected as much. We're experiencing the success here in Osaka as well on the more con conventional side of the business. Guangdong and China more generally are quickly proving themselves uh, to be potentially even more valuable to the company than our operations here in Japan. Hope that your efforts in Guangdong continue to bring success, and I look forward to your next report. As his father-in-law finished speaking, Masaharu noticed he was smiling in rare sight. Masaharu couldn't help but smile back. I'm feeling pretty successful in this episode. Even though we didn't do great in Indonesia, we did very well in Colombia. And that's a giant mess over there, but it doesn't matter. The economy is looking pretty decent. But if you enjoyed the Masushita episode, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see what else we can do with making us more successful. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.